Good morning, good morning, good morning to my friends and family all across the world. I just want to say thank y'all for subscribing to my channel. God is not done yet. God is truly not done yet. You know, most of us ask the question, how do we get to know God or how, how to get to know God? You know, and my thing was, it takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of studying and reading the Bible and being obedient. That's one thing we have to learn how to do is be obedient. And I would like to share something with y'all today. You know, the Bible teaches us that all people were meant to have a friendship with God. It began that way, but ever since Adam and Eve, man fought against the relationship. Instead of living peace with God and each other, we found conflict and disagreement, or worse. Man has a habit of living for himself. We often ignore God and pursue our own plans, our own selfish choices to do not bring us life. In fact, they earn us a death sentence. God understands that mankind battles with sin. He also understands that we are frustrated with how things turn out. He also knows that left to ourselves, we would not always do the right thing. We wouldn't be able to do the right thing. So God stepped in and made a way for us to find forgiveness and begin again. How did he do that? I'm glad you asked. He sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to live amongst us. He taught us a better way. Jesus, see, he was perfect in every shape and form and fashion. But mankind was not happy with God's way forward. While Jesus taught us to love God and each other, evil man plotted his death upon the cross. They took him away and they tried his case unfairly. The same people that Jesus taught, healed, and fed forced a Roman government to sentence him to death on a cross. Jesus died to take our sins on his shoulders. He paid the price. Jesus paid the price for us so that we can live again. You know, when I think back and I watch that movie, The Passionate of the Christ, and I look how they beat him for so long, and he had all the bruises and all the scratches on his body, you know, that's a horrible death. I don't think no man on this earth can go through the pain and suffering that Jesus Christ went through for us. So if you want to get to know God, the Father, allow Him to use you. Allow Him to use you. Ask Him to come inside your heart. He loves you. He knows what you go through. You don't even have to tell Him. He knows what you go through. All He wants is you to do is invite Him into your heart. You know, Jesus loves us so much, y'all. He gave us another opportunity today. He gave us another opportunity to wake up and live life. But all he's asking you is to accept him as your personal savior. You know, I look back over my life and I remember when I wasn't saved and the things that I used to do. I was headed for destruction. I was headed for destruction. I didn't know where I was. I did not know where I was going, but I knew in my heart that it was time for a change. I was basically seeking everybody else's opinion, but their opinion really didn't matter. And you know, now it doesn't really matter who likes you. It doesn't really matter who likes you. 
Because at the end of the day, what does that what what type of purpose does that serve? Because you only have one life to live. And once this life down here is over, you have to answer to the Father, the Creator, the one that created the heavens and the earth, the one that forgave you for your sins, the one that sent His only begotten Son to die. And He rose on the third day with all His power in His hands. You got to meet your Maker. When you die, what are you going to say? That you tried to do what's right? That you didn't have the opportunity? That you that you had that you had it on your mind to do what's right, but you didn't get down to it? See, we need to stop putting stuff off. Stop putting stuff off for tomorrow. Because like I said before, we don't have tomorrow. Only thing you have is today. So if you are watching this video right now, what is stopping you from getting closer to Jesus Christ? What's your excuse? What is your excuse? You don't have time, but you have time for the other things. What about the important things? What about your salvation? What about your destination? What about where you're going to end up after this life down here is over with? Jesus wants you to be a part of the Christ family. He wants you to invite him inside your heart. It's time out. He wants a relationship with you. See, sin separates us from Jesus Christ. Sin, it separates us. But see, we need to learn how to submit. Submit ourselves to Jesus Christ because he loves us with all our heart. He loves us. He gave, he gave his life for us so that we can have life more abundantly. So what are you going to do? Do you want a relationship with Jesus Christ? Or do you want to continue to live the way you've been living? It's time for a change. And Jesus wants to be a part of that change. He wants to be a part of your life. He loves you. I'm praying for y'all. I pray that you find Jesus today. I pray that you know your destination. I pray that you get it right. I pray that you have a relationship with the Father. You know... As I do these videos, it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of courage to say what's on your heart. You know, because I I battle with a lot of things in my life. You know, I'm on the right path, but you know, the devil, he tries to get you off the right path. That's why we must stay focused. We must stay focused. We must stay prayed up. We must stay in the word of God. We must apply these things. Or should I say we must apply the word to our life. And take it with us every day. So that we won't forget it. Jesus Christ wants a relationship with you. He wants you to invite him inside of your heart. There is room at the cross. There is room at the cross and Jesus Christ wants to be a part of your life. He wants to be a part of your life. And see, like, we all have choices. We all have choices in life. And what is your choice going to be today? What is your choice going to be? Because you don't have tomorrow. You don't have the next hour. You don't even have the next moment. But what is your choice going to be? Are you going to invite Christ into your life? Are you going to ask for forgiveness? You know, it's important that we know our destination. It's important. Because if we didn't know our destination, 
that means that we will be lost. It's like having a, it's like going on a road trip and not knowing where your destination is. You're lost. But Jesus here, he's here right now. And he's saying, you can be found. You can be found in the name of Jesus. All you have to do is submit your life to Jesus Christ. He wants to be a part of your life. He wants nothing but the best for you. Stop letting the enemy control your mind. Stop letting the enemy take control. You have to you have to speak life over your situations that you want to that you want to that you want to make happen in life. Jesus Christ loves you. He loves you. And he wants you a part of the Christ family. So my question for you today is, are you going to allow him to work in your life? Do you want a relationship with Jesus Christ? There's room at the Christ, there's room at the cross. There's room at the cross. He loves you. If you woke up this morning, that's because Jesus saw past your thoughts. He saw past your thoughts. No matter what you've done, he saw past your thoughts. And all he wants is to use you. He wants to be a part of your life. All you have to do is ask him to come into your life and to change you. Ask him to show you the way. Ask him to come into your life and show you that he's real. He's here. He wants to work in your life. All you have to do is allow him to. Allow Jesus to come into your heart. There's so many people out here that's not saved. It's so many people that don't know Jesus Christ. But it's time to invite him into your heart. It's so much going on in the world today that we need Jesus. We need to call on the Father. He said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. So we must call on him. Ask him. He will show you. He loves you. All he wants is for you to be part of the Christ family. So ask yourself this question today. What choice are you going to make? What choices are you going to make today? Are you going to continue to live the way you've been living? Or are you going to change your life? Are you going to change your life? It's time. It's time. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. You have an opportunity to accept Christ as your personal Savior right now. You want to make sure that you have a spot in the kingdom. You want to make sure you have a spot in the kingdom of God. You want to make sure that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. You go through so much down here on, on this side of heaven. You don't want to go to hell. And God doesn't want you to go to hell neither. That's why he's asking you to submit your life. Submit your life. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? He's calling. God is calling. How many signs do you need? He's working in my life. He is working in my life. So I know if he can work with me, he can work with you. And maybe you may have fell out. You may have fell out with Christ. But he's still there waiting on you to give your life back to him. It's never too late. But if your time comes to an end, you won't have a second chance. 
Why not give your life to Christ now while you have the opportunity? Where do you want to end? Where do you want to end? Jesus Christ loves you. He wants nothing but the best for you. And I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your life. I'm praying for your family. And I'm praying that you find Jesus Christ. All he wants to do is come in your life and use you. No matter what you're going through in your life. No matter what the enemy has said to you. All he wants to do is be a part of your life. It's time out, y'all. It's time out for the games. Jesus wants you a part of the Christ family. Stop thinking about it and just do it. Stop thinking about it and just do it. It's, it's easy. All you have to do is accept him as your personal savior. I'm praying for you. Yes, you that's watching this video. I'm praying for you. And I'm praying that God comes into your life. And that you invite him into your life. And that he uses you. More prayer. More power. You got to have faith. You got to have faith. Because Jesus will work it all out. Jesus will work it all out. He brought me from a mighty long way. And if he can do it for me, he can do it for you. And like they said, if he can do it back then, he can do it again. Think about it. Think about all the, the storms you may have faced. Think about those problems, them situations. How did you think that you got out of those situations? God was right there the whole time. He was there the whole time. And all he's asking you right now, today, is to accept him as your personal savior. That's it. It's that simple. He loves you. He definitely loves you. And he don't want to see you left behind. So you have a choice today. You have a choice today. Either you're going to serve Christ or you're going to be a part of the world. Because listen, you don't want to wait for the last hour. You don't want to wait because then it's going to be too late. What are you waiting for? What are you doing right now? What's so important in your life right now? That you can accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior. It doesn't even take five minutes. All you have to do is allow him to use you. And you receive him. And he will take you in. No matter what you're going through. Jesus already know. Jesus already know what you're going through. He knows your thoughts. Before you even think it. He knows what you want. Before you even ask. He knows all these things. But all he wants from you. Today. Is to allow him to use you. And for you to receive him. Into your life. Before it's too late. How long will you wait? How long will you wait? You have that opportunity right now. To accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior. Somebody that died. Don't have that opportunity no more. Their time was up. But your time is now. I'm praying for you. I'm praying that you accept Jesus as your personal savior. And that he comes into your life. And that you receive him. He's waiting for you. I'm praying for you. No matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, God knows. He knows it all. He's the beginning and the end. The Alpha and the Omega. He's just waiting on you. 
He's waiting on you. You ain't got no time to waste. Jesus Christ loves you. I'm praying that you invite Christ into your life. Because he is still blessing people. He is blessing people every day. He's healing the sick. He's feeding the poor. He can touch your life. He can touch your life. You may be suffering from addiction. You may be struggling with something in your life. And it's hard for you to break. Jesus Christ can take that away from you. All you have to do is allow him to use you. He knows it's hard. He's no, he knows what you face every day. But you have to cast all your burdens onto the Lord. He said the battle is not yours. It's his. So whatever you may be suffering from or battling with, give it to God. Give it to God. He wants you a part of the Christ family. He wants you. Don't wait for the last moment. Don't wait for the last moment. You have an opportunity. Save yourself. Save yourself. Get your family in line. It's time. But the choice is yours. The choice is yours. I'm praying every day that God comes into your life and that he uses you. If you receive this video, I would love to keep praying for you. I would love to pray for you. I would love for you to put your name down in the box. I'll pray for you. And I will continue to pray for you. Because Jesus, he loves you. And he's waiting for you. Don't be ashamed. He loves you. It's time. Just have faith. Faith. Something that we can't see, but we believe that is coming. Faith. He's waiting on you. We're going to end this with a prayer. And we're going to let the Holy Spirit take control. With every eye closed and head bowed. Father God, you see this individual right now that's watching this video. Father God, you know what they're going through. You know what they're suffering from. You know what's holding them back. They need you. They want to be a part of the Christ family, Father God. But we ask that you give them strength, Father God. Give them peace. Give them hope. Show them, Father God, that you are real. Give them understanding, Father God. Father God, no matter what they may be going through, allow them, Father God, to ask, what must I do to be saved? Father God, we love this individual right here. And we want this individual, Father God, to be saved. We want this individual right here, Father God, to ask, Father God, what must I do to be saved? Father God, we need you right now to touch this person right now that's watching this video. No matter what they going through, no matter what they facing in their life. Father God, we know that you understand it all. We ask that you fix it, Father God. Go inside their heart, Father God. Lead them and guide them. Take them, Father God, to that great place, Father God.
Father God, whatever's holding them back, Father God, we ask that you remove the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, we love you and we thank you for what you are doing, Father God. Thank you for what you're getting ready to do, Father God. We ask that this individual do not wait to the last moment, Father God, that they accept you right now in the name of Jesus. We claim victory right now, Father God, that it is done. Touch their life, Father God. Touch their family. Touch their kids, Father God. No matter what they may be facing in their life, Father God, we ask that you come inside their heart, Father God, and you cleanse them, Father God. Take away the sin out of their thoughts, Father God. Take the taste of sin out of their mouth, Father God. We ask that you use this individual, Father God. We know, Father God, that you can do all things. Father God, we just give you all the praise and glory. And we know that you are going to work good things in this individual life. We know all you want is good things for this person, Father God. And we ask that you work with them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's done. All you got to do is accept him as your personal savior. No matter what you're going through. Remember, the choice is yours. The choice is yours. You can do it. I believe in you. Jesus knows your heart. No matter what you may be going through. Cast all your problems unto the Lord, and he will work them out. I love y'all, and remember, Jesus Christ loves you more. Y'all have a blessed day. I'll be praying for y'all, and I pray that y'all continue to pray for me. I love y'all, and Jesus Christ loves y'all more. Y'all have a blessed day.